Hi friends, and welcome back to my crafty space where I share my memory keeping projects and processes with all of you. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Crystal, and I am so excited that you are here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can see all of my future crafty videos and any of the products or links that I mention in this video, I will have in that description box below. So today is day four, wait a second, let me think about this, day three, <laughs> today is day three of the stamp week. Um, and the reason I'm confused about that is because I'm doing some of these videos a little out of order from the prompts or the themes that Allie has picked. It's just because of how I wanted to use the stamps themselves that some things needed to be done first before I could do the rest. Anyway, today is day three of stamp week and the theme for today is numbers. So you can see that I've got this huge number set right here that I plan to use. Um, on this project. Now what I am working on this week is a project using the watch story stamp along with a couple of other stamp sets that I have. Um, my friend Tashi and I and a, and a bunch of others in the community are working on crushing our watch kits this month and so I thought that this would be a really good opportunity to pull out my stamp set and make a spread using my stamps. So I decided to do an entire spread that used only my um, photos and stamps and then like some other embellishment type thingies, but you'll see that later in my typewriter, but primarily photos and stamps. So uh, yesterday we did uh, prompts. So yesterday I stamped the titles to each of these five journaling cards. And the day before that, I showed you guys how I made my title card here. Tomorrow, the prompt will be backgrounds, so you will see some of the background stamping that I did um, prior to putting on my title. So, um, yeah, so today is numbers. I'm going to be use the, using this stamp set to throw numbers on these stories because I am telling five stories. So, today's going to be super easy. It is literally just taking a stamp and throwing it on here. So let's speed you guys up. Let me get these numbers on here and then we'll come back at the end and close you guys out for the day. All right, let's do this. So this is gonna go really quick because I only have the five stamps that I need to put onto these cards. So once I get everything cleared off of my desk and just have the things that I need to use, we can talk about the tools that I'm using. So the first thing are these three stamp blocks right here. I have a stamp chamois, which is what I use to clean off my stamps as I'm using them. And then I'm going to be using these two colors, so a light pink and a light teal. Those are both from scrapbook.com and they are a hybrid ink, so they are part dye, part pigment. There's something in between. So, oh, and I chose lighter colors because when I put them onto the journaling card, I'm actually going to add my journaling with my typewriter on top of those cards. So I wanna be able to see it uh, and not have the number take away from the actual story. So three of them, I'm going to put that teal color and two of them, I'm going to put the pink. Those are just colors that you will see in the photos that, uh, that these cards are going to be part of the, the spread. Um, and I want them to alternate. So I've got this one and the two and the four will be in teal and then the three and five will be in the pink. When I am stamping, uh, one of the tips I have for you guys is to ink up your stamp and first stamp it down on a piece of spare paper, just scrap paper. Uh, that will just help to make sure that the entire stamp gets filled in for the additional impressions and then when you ink it up the second time your color will be a little bit more saturated at least that's from my experience that's what I find so I typically will do that I will stamp it on a spare piece of paper first and then I will put it where I want it to go so that is all five of them all completed so the next thing I'm going to do is take them over to my typewriter to add the journaling right on top and then I'll show you the final product all right, so that finishes up this 
technique for today or this theme. So I really like how this turned out. So you can see I've got my numbers on each of these cards and I chose that really light ink color so that my journaling would actually show up on top. So these are my five little stories and um, that is it for today. So make sure you come back by tomorrow. Tomorrow we're working with backgrounds and patterns. I'll show you how I made the background for this card right here which let's see if you can see that. Um, and I also did a couple other ones because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to go with. So you'll see me create a couple of backgrounds tomorrow. Um, and then there'll just be one more day after that. And then this project will be done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super simple, but uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't have to be complicated, right? It's okay to have simple, simple techniques and simple pages. All right, so that is it for today. So until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.